Siri may know a lot about most things, but there's one thing she's not too sure about, and it's causing a stir in the U.S. Here's the story. Where can I find a supermarket? Siri can tell you where to find the nearest takeaway. The iPhone feature can even fill you in on the meaning of life. But when it comes to life, it could appear she's definitely pro, and it's causing some controversy stateside. When bloggers asked the virtual assistant about abortion and contraception, they got nothing. Media companies have made it more difficult for women to you know, find family planning assistance. This is not the first time that this has happened. Although in some U.S. states, she's directed users to anti-abortion centers. Siri has no problem finding anything from strip clubs to Viagra. Apple is blaming it on a technical glitch and not much more. Van Baker, a consumer expert, says. You see lots and lots of speculation with Apple more than you do with other companies because they tend to constrain the amount of information that they make available. The company will look into the service in the coming weeks. One small step for man, one giant leap for beer. The first can of beer has gone up and come back down from space. The drink was packed into a styrofoam cooler with a camera and sent up to space attached to a weather balloon. But is it true? Online bloggers aren't convinced. They think it was just a marketing scam. The two behind the project say it really happened. We like to think it did because the pics are great. It's game over for gamers in China. The government over there has had to crack down on gamers once again. Now they're going to keep an eye on them by collecting online gamers' IDs at internet cafes. It's hoped that the new Big Brother-style rules will prevent youngsters from becoming addicted. Four years ago, penalties were brought in to stop young gamers from playing too long by wiping out their gaming experience points if they went over a certain time limit eBay has popped up offline to help out with the Christmas rush. The shopping site has opened a pop-up store in London. The idea is to give shoppers a chance to see the products before they go online and purchase them. Once the item is scanned, it brings you to the website where you can complete the transaction. No cash registers means no queues, making shoppers a bit happier. The shop is only open for the weekend. And that's you up to date with everything that's buzzing today.